styrofoam widely known as takeaway pack used by food vendors such as these ones behind me plastic all single use do you know that they constitute one of the biggest environmental health challenges single use plastics experts say contains polystyrene which leaches into food and drinks causing contamination the production use and disposal of polystyrene have shown releases toxic chemicals responsible for parkinson's disease irritation of the skin eyes as well as creating of large amounts of greenhouse gases um, nigeria generates on an annual basis an estimated amount of about 32, 32 million tons of solid waste out of that, about 15% translating to about 5 million tons. The effects of that is that we find that the plastics will find their way onto our tables. And if it gets into the food chain, it gets into our human bodies, then it affects our health. It is these alarming health problems posed by the use of single-use plastics or styrofoam. The federal government decided to ban the use of the items in ministries, departments, and agencies. If you're able to get about 1.5 million Nigerians persuaded and adequately implementing this kind of ban, it will be easier for us to scale it up at a national scale. In finding an alternative to styrofoams or single-use plastics, restaurants and food service brands have been encouraged to use compostable containers. Rather than um, buying plastic water bottles, why not have uh, a reusable water bottle. We're also encouraging the research around the use of uh, bamboo for some of these products. Styrofoam or single-use plastic, we have been told, take over 500 years to decompose. And this is because it is non-biodegradable. And the kind of chemical they emit into the environments make them most dangerous air pollutants affecting man and his environment. In Abuja, 